Growing on Twitch and becoming a successful streamer is an ongoing battle for content creators. We're always looking for ways to increase our viewership and boost engagement. Today, I'm bringing you another tool to put in your arsenal to keep viewers coming back to your channel. Rather than the classic old channel point that streamers have so viewers can announce to chat, whoo, I've first arrived on the stream. What if we could give them something? How about a shiny VIP status maybe? We can then give special perks to VIP members of the channel such as special redeems, sound effects and much more. Then once your stream concludes, it automatically takes it away from the redeemer, ready for the next super supporter next stream. I've actually created and shared this VIP command for both Sammy and Streamerbot and made it downloadable for my Patreon and Kofi members in my Discord. If you want to skip the whole tutorial and just download it, go sign up and support my content today. If you're still here for the lesson, then Ayo duckies, I'm Andy Lippy. If this video helps you out, please help me out by cracking that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any other top tips to take your streams to the next level. Let's get into it. Put your rug over the stone. Did you spend all your money on that hardcore gaming PC hardware? Now you can't even activate Windows because it costs mega bucks. Have no fear, don't be paying that huge price. Grab a heavily discounted key from SCD Key. You can even save yourself an extra 25% off using code SCAN at checkout. You can also use a range of secure payment methods to make sure you're nice and safe. And once purchased, just paste the key you receive via email into the Windows activation window and bosh. You're done. You can also upgrade the Windows 10 key to Windows 11 for free within Windows settings. These keys are legit and SCD key have a huge range of games and software such as Microsoft Office. The links are all in the description, so go get yourself some incredible savings. We need to make sure we have a few things in order before we get busy with a fizzy. I will be using Streamerbot for this example, but you will most likely be able to use your preferred bot if it has similar controls such as Sammy. If you do want a dedicated tutorial on your stream bot of choice, then let me know down in the comments. We need to make sure you have stream bot all set up correctly. Uh, so go check out my video on that before you go any further. Let's start by making our first action. Right click in the actions window and select add. This action will give the viewer VIP. So give it a name like make viewer VIP. You can add it to whatever group and queue that you like then press OK once you're happy. In the sub actions box on the right, right click, go to Twitch, moderation and add VIP. We will leave this setting as user as we want whoever redeems this channel point to become the VIP. Hit OK. Now we need to take it a step further to make Streamerbot remember who today's VIP is. So we need to create a global variable. Right click, select core, globals, global set. Give it a name like today's VIP and change the value to username with this same capitalization. I'd recommend unchecking persisted as you don't want Streamerbot to remember this variable after it closes. Now you can add some other commands if you like, such as a Twitch message to indicate that user has successfully got their hands on today's VIP and maybe you want to add in some cheeky effects or something like that. I will leave this completely up to you. One last thing, we need to add a little failsafe, especially if you have troll moderators. We've all got them. You know who you are, bongo. We want this command to not do anything if a mod redeems it, as it will remove their mod status. Just right click, select core, logic, then if slash else if slash else that's really hard to say now we'll use the variable is moderator um, exactly the same with this capitalization leave the operator as equals and set the value to true leave the next few options as default under the then option change this to break and leave the rest as default then you can press ok this is the command for giving out vip status complete we now need to create a channel point redeem to trigger it. Head to platforms at the top, Twitch, then channel point rewards. Right click in the main box and press add. You can configure the channel point to however you want in here. This is just an example. So change it to how you want it to look and how much you want it to cost. 
Make sure though, you do change the max per stream value to one. This means it can only be redeemed once per stream. Then at the bottom, select the action we created earlier. And that's it. The granting of VIP action is complete. Now we need to work on the action to revoke the VIP once your stream has ended. Right click in the actions tab window and press add. Give it a name like revoke viewer VIP and set the group and queue to suit you then press OK. Right click in the sub action window, go to core, globals, global, get this time. Uncheck the persisted box, set the variable name to the variable name we created earlier. Mine was today's VIP and set the destination variable to username but make sure you use the same capitalization as this. Then press OK. Right click once again in the sub actions window, go to Twitch, moderation and select remove VIP. Leave the source type as user and then press OK. That's it. This action will now get who redeemed the channel point for VIP and then remove their VIP status when this is triggered. Now we need to automatically trigger this when the stream ends. We will be doing this through an OBS trigger. So when you press stop streaming in OBS, it will then trigger this. First thing I want to do, and this is a great habit to get into, uh, to use something called a nested action. This will allow you to do multiple actions from one single trigger. So right click in the actions window and press add. I will call this stream state changed as this is the trigger we will use later. So it helps me remember what this action is triggered by. Then under group, I will create one called OBS triggers. And trust me, organization is key inside of Streamerbot and OBS. Then press OK. Right click in the sub action window, then go to core logic, then if slash else. Under the variable, add OBS event dot output active, exactly like this, and change the value to false. Then choose action, select the revoke viewer VIP action we created earlier. Leave everything else as defaults, then press OK. Now head over to the stream apps tab and select your OBS instance. And under the event window, right click and press add. Under event, select stream state changed. Then select the action we just created, stream state changed. Then press OK and that's it. We're all done now, ready to go. Now when your first viewer comes into your channel and smash that redeem, they will be given that beautiful purple badge. You can actually be my very own VIP here on YouTube if you were so kind to press those buttons you already know that mean so much to me and my content, you know. Next up, you will need to make the VIP status even more special by giving them special commands and redeems. If you need some inspiration on what is possible, I definitely recommend you check out this video just here to get your creative juices flowing. I'll see you over there. Put your rock over the stone.